Hi everyone, my name is Precious and you are welcome to my cooking video. Today I'm sharing how to make the perfect jollof rice with chicken. Jollof rice is so popular in Africa. Different countries have their versions. I'm just going to show you one of my favorite ways to make it. It's kid approved, my family approved, guest approved. It is so good you guys. Everyone needs a good chicken and rice recipe that they can make at any time, whether for dinner or for entertaining or for parties. This is mine. Put a generous amount of peeled garlic and ginger into a blender. Add in some water and blend into a paste. To four pounds of chicken thighs and drumsticks, add in some chopped onions, two tablespoons of the garlic and ginger paste and a generous amount of white pepper. Also add a teaspoon and a half of salt, two teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder. Then mix everything to combine. Add in three cups of water cover and let that cook on medium heat for about 20 minutes meanwhile blend six large roma tomatoes into a paste pour the blended tomatoes into a medium saucepan or pot bring to a boil and let it simmer until the tomatoes shrink it takes about 20 minutes do not stir the tomatoes while they cook once the chicken has cooked turn off the heat then remove the pieces of chicken and place in a colander so that the excess liquids can drain. Prepare a pan for frying by adding in enough oil to make 2 inches. Then when the oil heats up, go ahead and put the chicken into the oil to fry until golden brown. When one side is golden brown, flip to the other side and let the chicken be completely golden brown. Once the chicken is fried, remove the chicken from the oil and place on paper towels to absorb the excess oil. Repeat the process with the rest of the chicken. Let the oil you used in frying the chicken cool down. Then measure one cup of that oil and put into a pot and let it heat up. Then you add in some onions to saute. Once the onions have sauteed for about two minutes until fragrant, add in the cooked down tomatoes and stir. Let it cook for about 5 minutes while stirring from time to time. Then add in some tomato sauce and let it cook. The tomato sauce starts to splatter after a while so be sure to cover your pot while it splatters. Open that pot and stir from time to time. Once the tomatoes have shrunk significantly and start sticking to the bottom of the pot, Add a teaspoon of dried thyme and give it a good stir so the flavors can bloom. Also add in about half a teaspoon of white pepper, then give it a good stir. Add in the rest of the garlic ginger paste, then stir to combine. Add in some washed rice. I am using jasmine rice here that I washed about four times to remove the excess stash. Once the rice is in the pot, stir everything well to combine. Add a teaspoon of salt, stir to combine. Add two teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder. Then add the stock from the chicken. Also add two cups of water. Add two bay leaves. Cover the pot with aluminium foil. Then place the lid on the pot. Reduce the heat to low and let it cook for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, open the pot and stir to combine. Cover the pot once again, let it cook for another 20 minutes. Then open the pot and stir it to combine and to check if the rice is done and fluffy. If the rice is a little hard, add in just about a quarter cup of water. Cover and let it cook until the rice is done. Once the rice is done, add some chopped 
carrots and green beans cover the rice once again and let it cook for about five minutes so the vegetables can steam open the pot and then stir everything to combine then you can start serving you guys this is so good i had to put some for my friend who was visiting so she could take it home with her this rice and chicken omg it's to die for you guys serve the rice with the chicken and this is perfect for parties for entertaining for weeknight dinners so so good so friends that is how you make super delicious jollof rice with chicken i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you all so much for spending time with me and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye